Try to recall uh, your last public gathering, uh, maybe a party, uh, uh, maybe a get together with your friends, and try to recall what was common in all those people with whom you did not interact, with whom uh, you did not, uh, I mean, talk, or uh, whom you did not hear actually. Uh, but still, you got impressed. Uh, I think the only common thing uh, in all those personalities would be the way they were carrying themselves, uh, the way they were probably standing, uh, maybe the way they were sitting, uh, the way they were probably eating and talking or whatever as such. Uh, so here we're going to talk about uh, what is the importance of body language, or what is the importance of carrying yourself, right? And what is the importance of this particular thing in the overall process of communication. Uh, it has been seen that a lot of uh, times people tend to ignore uh, this non-verbal uh, part of the communication per se uh, that we uh, generally call as uh, body language and they tend to focus more on increasing their vocabulary or their grammar and everything and it has been seen that even if you don't have a very good command over the language but you have a very good body language or you're very confident in the way you carry yourself you are more impressive. Contrary to people uh, who are poor in body language, poor in uh, confidence and have probably a command of the language. So, it is a proven fact that non-verbal communication of the body language is much more important vis-a-vis -vis the language part or the verbal part. Uh, so, what really constitutes a body language? Uh, the very first thing uh, that uh, I think is uh, uh, the backbone as such. Now it has been seen that today's generation really cannot uh, sit straight for a long, long time and they really cannot probably stand straight for a very long time and uh, your uh, backbone uh, probably plays one of the most important parts in, in the way you actually carry yourself in your daily activities in terms of communicating with people. Uh, so keeping your uh, back straight uh, is number one. Uh, number two is uh, the way you move your hands. Now it has been seen again. Uh, when, when you're sitting in a group discussion, let's say, or let's say you're sitting, uh, uh, I mean, uh, in an interview, uh, that you or, or a normal student tend to move his or her hands uh, very regularly and he or she tends to cross uh, the boundaries as such, right? So this particular thing, right, is obviously not done, not taken when you're talking. Uh, now, a very important thing when it comes to the hands is, if while communicating, instead of an open palm, you can keep a inner bent palm, right? If I'm speaking like this, and I'm speaking like this, obviously this is more sophisticated, more well-mannered than just I mean, an open hand uh, or, or, or a palm as such. Uh, so, number one, uh, your backbone. Number two, your hand movements. And number three is your eyes, right? It's, it's again a very, very important thing. And then again, a lot of people really cannot look straight into the eyes of the other person and talk for a very long time. Now, looking into the eyes of somebody reveals your confidence level, right? So that is number three. Uh, number four, when you're sitting in a public forum, uh, try not to cross your hands, again. Okay? Uh, if you're doing that, then it probably, again, shows that you're not open to the discussion. And the other thing is it reveals that maybe you are low on confidence. Uh, Number five uh, can be, again it's not very very uh, acceptable these days, is don't sit with a cross leg when you're sitting in a uh, formal public platform, right? So these five things, uh, six things in total uh, will uh, uh, give you the right edge with, with body language. But one thing that we have to keep in mind is this comes through practice. If you really think that you're going for an interview, you're going for a GD and for like uh, the two days before that you're practicing a straight back position, Right? Uh, you're absolutely wrong that you'll be able to do that in front of the interview panel or sitting in the group discussion because in your mind, in your subconscious, uh, the programming is different. So when you're sitting in a, a, in a, in a condition where there's a lot of pressure on you, you come back to your original body languages. Right? So body language, the mantra is very simple. You have to practice it over a long period of time.